How's it going, everybody? All right, we are in Acts 16 and Revelation 16 again today. Pretty cool. On the Sabbath, we went a little way outside the city to a riverbank where we thought we would be meeting for prayer, and we sat down to speak with some of the women who had gathered there. And one of them was from Lydia, from Thyatira, a merchant of expensive purple cloth. Okay, I am a new living, who worshiped God. As she listened to us, the Lord opened her heart. Who opened your heart? The Lord opened your heart. Well said, glad, they, glad it was worded like that. You don't have the free will to open your heart. You don't have the free will to do anything, especially when it comes to, the, to the, your salvation. And she accepted what Paul was saying. Why? Because the Lord had opened her heart. So let's highlight that. And highlight that. Now in the King James, it reads as so. A certain woman named Lydia, a seller of purple of the city of Thyatira, which worshiped God, heard us, whose heart the Lord opened. Love it. That she attended unto the things which were spoken of of Paul. Very good. Well, that's the core. And when she was baptized and her household, she besought us, saying, if ye have, again, the whole baptism thing, I don't know if they're talking about getting dunked in water. We've been over this of why people got baptized, why they didn't get baptized. Um, you have both because you're in that transitional period. Just make sure you're watching these, you know, go back and watch this whole Acts from the beginning because it's really detailed in other Bible studies. And when she was baptized, which one are we in, by the way? Let's go back to, yeah. She and her household were baptized and she asked us to be her guest. If you agree that I am a true believer in the Lord, she said, come and stay in my home. And she urged us until we agreed. One day, as we were going down to the place of prayer, we met a slave girl who had a spirit that enabled her to tell the future. Interesting. She earned a lot of money for her masters by telling fortunes. And you have to remember that demonic spirits, I do believe, can see the future. She followed Paul and the rest of us, shouting, these men are servants of the Most High God, and they have come to tell you how to be saved. Wow. This went on day after day until Paul got so exasperated that he turned and said to the demon within her, I command you in the name of Jesus Christ, come out of her and instantly it left her. Her master's hopes of wealth were now shattered. So they grabbed Paul and Silas and dragged them before the authorities to the marketplace. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Don't mess with somebody's wallet, right? And men were scorched within, the, we're back, we're over in Revelation. And men were scorched with great heat and blasphemed the name of God, which have power over these plagues, and they repented not to give him glory. Why? Because these people were now possessed, if they're even still alive. This might be the demonic spirits keeping these human bodies alive, that the human host has died off from a spiritual uh, nature. And they repented not to give him glory, and the fifth angel poured out his vial upon the seat of the beast and his kingdom was full of darkness and gnawed their tongues of pain and blasphemed the God of heaven because of their pains and their sores and repented not of their deeds. And the sixth angel poured out his vial upon the great river Euphrates and the water thereof was dried up and the way of the kings of the east might be prepared. And I saw three unclean spirits like frogs come out of the mouth of the dragon and out of the mouth of the beast and out of the mouth mouth of the false am i saying mouth so the mouth of the false prophet for they are spirits of devils working miracles which go forth unto the kings of the earth 
and of the whole world to gather them together for the great day of God Almighty. Gather them to the battle of the great day of God Almighty. Behold, I come as a thief. Blessed is he that watcheth and keepeth his garments, lest he walk naked, and they see his shame. And he gathered them together into a place called, in the Hebrew tongue, Armageddon. And the seventh angel poured out his vial unto the air, and they came a great voice out of the temple of heaven from the throne, saying, it is done. Love you very much. Ask questions anytime. That's what I'm here for.